As you can see right there, Big Ten football is back and bigger than ever now. The conference now has 18 teams leaving the confines of the Midwest to add West Coast powerhouses like UCLA, USC, and Oregon. Eric Graves checks out the impact that this new look could have on the old conference. The Big Ten is practically the Big 18 now, going from coast to coast, even traveling from here in Bloomington at Memorial Stadium to here at the Rose Bowl in beautiful Los Angeles, California, the home of their week three opponent, the UCLA Bruins. It's a 2000 mile trip for the team and fans. Flags that look almost foreign now fly above IU's Memorial Stadium, USC, UCLA, Oregon and Washington college football powerhouses that used to be far away afterthoughts to these Midwest football fans are now Big Ten Conference rivals. I'm not sure I can get used to it yet. The Big Ten Conference is spreading nationwide with the addition of these new West Coast foes, something very exciting for students at IU and Purdue. More competition, I'd say, better games. But I think it's going to be really fun to have schools from the West Coast over here. The bigger conference means a bigger footprint and more exposure for the Big Ten. I think it, it feels very Hollywood. I think it feels very far away. IU marketing professor Ann Bastinelli says her students are talking about the Hoosiers week three road game against UCLA at the Rose Bowl. It expands the students worldview a little bit. So it's not just being, you know, one or two states away. Let's just run over to Columbus or let's run up to Ann Arbor. IU fan and former football player Eric Stolberg isn't missing the opportunity to see the Hoosiers play in the historic Rose Bowl even if it is quite a haul to get out there. I just booked my flight. It's a four hour plus flight, so <laughs> it's not as easy as going to say Ohio State or Michigan, I can tell you. Indianapolis is also in a unique position to bring in some new faces. The Circle City will host the Big Ten football championship game through at least 2028 and host multiple Big Ten basketball tournaments over the next few years. If one of those West Coast teams were to make the championship games in the years to come, that could bring in fans who have never even considered coming to Indianapolis. Bastinelli says Indy is ideally suited to make people enjoy the city for more than just seeing their team play. And we're really good at championships and really good at understanding the kinds of things that consumers are interested in. Purdue doesn't take any trips out for in-conference games in the West Coast, but Oregon is going to Purdue. It's a long trip, 2,231 miles. Indiana also gets a West Coast visitor to Bloomington. The Washington Huskies taking the trek there, an even longer trip, 2,230. 59 miles for the Huskies. In the studio, I'm Eric Graves.